I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand how to solve equation in trigonometric ratio. Well, we call them ratios and when we have an equation like an ratio, to solve that equation we should cross multiply and just simplify as we do for ratios. Right? So here there are three examples and with the help of these examples we will understand the steps involved. Question is, Solve for x to one decimal place. Sine of 42 degrees equals to x over 8. Cos of 31 degrees equals to 9 over x. And tan of 75 degrees equals to 5 over x. Now, let us solve them one by one. So, x over 8 is sine of 42. When you cross multiply, you get 8 sine 42 degrees equals to x. So, now you can use the calculator, multiply 8 with sine 42 degrees and then find x, correct? In this particular case, what happens? You need to find x. So, what you should do is you should cross multiply. When you cross multiply, first step could be x cos 31 degrees equals to 9. Since you want to find x, you can write this as x equals to 9 divided by cos of 31 degrees. I hope you get the steps involved, right? You could directly do it also. You could take x on this side and say x is equals to 5 divided by tan of 75 degrees, right? So these are the steps involved. So you could write first with cross multiply a kind of a linear equation and then you can solve by dividing on both sides, right? So both these steps are correct steps. Now let us use calculator and find our answers. So for the first one, x is equals to 8 times sine 42 degrees. I will suggest first you write 8, right, and then sine of 42 degrees. Sine 42, set your calculator to degrees. It could be in radians at times. So we get exam answer as 5.35. So we have 5.35 equals to x. We have to round to one decimal place. Therefore, I wrote it to two decimal places first. Rounding to one decimal place gives me x as equal to 5.4. Right? So, that is how you should do it. Right? Next one. Here, x is 9 divided by cos of 31. So, just write 9 divided by cosine 31, bracket close, equals to that gives you x is equals to 10.49 rounding to one decimal place we get 10.5 as the value of x the last one here is x equals to 5 divided by tan so tan 75 so these ratios are already there on the calculator so you can find them and use just as i am using right so tan divided by this so they may at times give you exact answer as in this case 5 square root 3, but if you want to round, you have to convert to decimals, correct? In decimals, it gives me 1.33, which I can round to 1.3, correct? So that is how you can actually find the value of unknown from these equations, which are kind of ratios with trigonometric primary ratios, I should say, right? So, that is how you should be doing. Go through this video, understand these very basic steps to start with and these steps will help you to solve any right triangle. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.